The following is a presentation of TFNN. Live at TFNN, The Money Masters. The Money Masters. Good day, Money Masters and Treasure Hunters. Welcome to the November 12th, terrific Tuesday edition of the Money Masters show. I'm your host, Steve Rhodes, and I am grateful for your presence here today. My outcome, as always, is to help you to become a better Money Master and to provide you with the tools that empower human potential. Because living up to our potential, folks, that's something you and I, we must master each and every day. So let's begin our day with empowering beliefs. You know, the way that I, and you've heard this before, and it's really, if I were to label it, I would call it becoming your own electrician, the electrician of your belief system out here. And that's because beliefs, they've got the power to create. They most certainly have the power to destroy. And you and I... We've got this awesome ability, truly an awesome ability, to take any experience of our lives and create a meaning that either disempowers us or one that can literally save our lives, one that can take us and empower us to places beyond what we even ever dreamed out there. Now, think about it like this. This is so important. This This is maybe not just a subtle concept to understand about beliefs, but perhaps the most important thing. And there is only one thing that you and I can control in life. And that is the meaning that we give something. No, when we take a look at stock charts out here, each of us, there's going to be a bull and there's going to be a bear out here. Each of us can only control the meaning that we give something. That's the beauty. You know, folks that are depressed, they just simply have given the meaning. They've just simply given a depressive meaning about some event in their life. There's somebody that could, somebody's, you know, your worst, your worst days, folks. Guess what? There's somebody else's dreams out there. That's really the beauty of the markets that we trade. We've got bulls, we've got bears, one that sees an event as a selling opportunity, the next as a buying opportunity. Our beliefs, the meaning that we give to events, statements, criticisms, whatever they are, we are the only ones in control of what that meaning is. And when you stop to think about it, it is absolutely cool. Now, sometimes that takes a rewiring of our system. That's why I say you've got to become your own electrician. And the electrician is of your belief system. So if your beliefs are not getting anywhere, folks, you just simply have to step up and become an electrician. Hey, when I was a kid, I was electrocuted. So I'm a little bit afraid of electricity out there. I have learned, though, you learn from that one experience, turn the breakers off before you start messing with electricity out there. So you know what? What we can do, what you and I can do, what we consider possible or impossible, it is not a function of our capabilities. It's just simply not. It's a function of our beliefs about who we are, what we believe in. And that matters because we're always looking for personal breakthroughs. We're looking for breakthroughs, breakthroughs, and those breakthroughs, they begin with a change in beliefs. It's just as simple as that. And the question is always, so how the heck is it that we change? And the most effective way to change, you know, we're coming into the holiday season here, and that is you've got to, you know, you've got to be the Charles Dickens. You've got to take yourself through the Charles Dickens process. And that process is just simply associating massive pain with an old, disempowering belief. It really is as simple as that. It is as simple, but you've got to be able to do it. You know, on Friday's show, I thought Tom made a great show out there, you know, when he had, uh, he had, uh, talking about yoga and, and just the, I mean, I love that show. It was a great, great show. So I look forward to hearing, hearing more of that. And the reality is that you've got to stop for a moment. You've got to spend some time. You've got to meditate, whatever it is. And you've got to be able to take yourself back folks it's it's really the charles dickens uh, dickens process you know i'm sure that uh, Allie ford when you know she's uh, teaching her her her, uh, her yoga program and what have you i mean it's it's really about that process you've got to be able to associate and this is the key massive pain massive pain to that old disempowering belief you got to say hey if i were to keep doing this today what is it going to look like a month from now if i have this disempowering belief what am i going to look like a year from now five years from now, 20 years from now. If you take yourself through that process, folks, you will see that you will want to get rid of that disempowering belief. And that's really where all change is going to take place. You've got to be able to link the known, which is that massive pain, you know, to the unknown out there. And that is, the unknown is, what's your future look like if you keep doing that, if you keep doing that, folks? So sometimes knowing what we don't want, it's really just as important as knowing what we do want. And I think that you've got to know both. 
You've got to understand what is it that's causing pain in your life. Because once you rid yourself of that disempowering belief, that's where you really become the electrician of life. Because then you associate massive pleasure, tremendous pleasure, to the idea of adopting a new empowering belief out there. That's really your future. So we've got to know that at any moment, the decision that we make, folks, it can and it will change the course of our life forever. It could be the next person we stand behind. It could be something that you hear on a radio station here today at TFNN.com. It could be the next phone call you hear somebody make or that you make yourself. Or maybe it's the next phone call you receive. Maybe it's just simply a book you read, a page you turn. But one of those events, there are signs that are, that are thrown at us all day long. We just decide to consume the ones that we want. Any of these things can be the single change that just simply causes the floodgates to open. And when those floodgates open, folks, everything that you've been waiting for will fall into place. So let's go see what's falling into place out here in the uh, markets right now. Dow is off 12 points. It's trading out at 15,770. S&P is down three points at 1769. Russell 2000 off three points, trading out at 1098. NASDAQ down about uh, eight points, trading out at 3911. New York Stock Exchange looks like uh, that's not giving any uh, good bullish signals out here. We've got 875.6 net uh, declining issues. It's trading down 18 points, which is about two-tenths of a percent, nearly leading the charge on the way down. It's the Russell. That is the weak link out here. Our call in number, 877-927-6648. To give us a call, be happy to take a look at your stock charter, answer any question that I possibly can. Let's start off here by taking a look at the uh, NASDAQ uh, futures. Why do we want to take a look at the NASDAQ futures? Well, we're looking for signals out here. NASDAQ futures and the Russell 2000, both of them ha- have been the uh, weak link out here. It was the, it had been the, uh, uh, it had been the uh, Dow, uh, but right now it is the uh, NASDAQ that may be leading the markets down, maybe the Russell too well. It's not maybe, it's, it's those two indexes that are leading the markets down there, putting the most amount of pressure in the uh, market. So we want to be paying attention to them. So what I've got on my screen here is the uh, 30 minute chart for the uh, NASDAQ uh, futures and the uh, red diagonal lines. If you're just listening to the radio, or your mobile device at tfnn.mobi. Thanks so much for uh, doing that. Remember, you can catch the archive of this show on Channel 10. You can catch the live stream of the show by going to the homepage of tfnn.com. Upper right-hand side, you'll see a button, three smartphones. Click on that. The show will stream live. You'll be looking at this uh, chart of the 30-minute NASDAQ futures. You'll be seeing that the channel line, which began up at the highs, I've got the uh, top of the channel here, I'm uh, using the uh, co-located. That means it could be an open or a close. doesn't matter whether it's a red or a green candle out there. I'm basically using the uh, close of uh, 1030 in the morning on November the 6th out at uh, 3383 and a, a quarter out here. That becomes my uh, touch point. The next touch point that you could use is the open at 1030 on 1111, and that's out at a price point of 3355. That helps to set up our price channel out here now. But the NASDAQ futures, now the bottom, don't worry so much about the bottom uh, of the uh, price uh, channel out here. Right now, let's just kind of focus in on the uh, top. So that way, if you don't have a price channel out here, what you can do is just use a, a trend line. Now, what we can see here is the NASDAQ futures during the uh, 10, uh, 1030, no, during the 10 o'clock uh, period here. See that green candle, that green bar? Price broke above the uh, rise of the descending price channel. Now, we're going to find out here whether or not this is a false break or not. Because when you break out of a price channel, what you like to do is you like to see it come back and test it. So this is a 30-minute chart out here. So we only get the next two 30-minute charts. You've got to tune into to uh, Basel for uh, charts after that or just draw this on your uh, chart. If you don't have uh, access to the futures contract, you ought to get it because it helps you to understand if this is a false break out here. Well, if it's false breakout, that signal's actually moved back down to the bottom of the uh, descending uh, price channel out here. That's quite a bit lower than where we're at right now. So we want to be paying attention to this for sure. This is the uh, NASDAQ uh, futures. Right now, you know, you've got the Dow is off at 25 points. New York Stock Exchange is really one of the other. Well, let's go take a look at two and three indexes here. Let's go take a look at the Russell 2000. If we take a look at the Russell 2000, this had uh, completed, almost completed, an A to B equals CD down. Now, your A point was that uh, key reversal session on October 30th. Big old bearish engulfing uh, candle out here. Engulfed a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight trading sessions. We've got to be paying attention to that. When you get bearish engulfing candles, let alone a key reversal session out there, it engulfs the prior eight sessions. It's something you've got to be paying attention to. Price stopped where uh, the uh, Russell 2000 had broken out as well, so that's a logical area for it to have uh, stopped on that uh, trading session. And uh, close that window so that window no longer acting as an area of support. 
the window being uh, represented by the uh, close of October 17th, which was at 11 Oh two twenty seven. As soon as the uh, session closed that window on October thirty first, meant the window was repaired. No longer is used as a uh, support. Makes an A to B equals CD uh, down here. Now the Russell two thousand futures contract actually formed a Doji candle yesterday. Not the uh, daily chart. Daily chart has this little spinning top out here. But if I switch over and take a look at the uh, futures contract here, it's why it's nice to be able to use both. First of all, it's nice to be able to use the futures contract because you've got more data to use. More data means that you've got the ability to put together and stitch the puzzle together. So, you know, really very close to a doji-style candle. We can call that a doji candle here inside of the Russell yesterday. Coming at resistance, you're seeing some leaves fall off of the tree here today. So the Russell 2000 showing us that it is a weak link out there. Same thing if we take a look at the uh, NDX 100. Let's go take a look at the NDX, see what it is uh, doing out here. Big old... uh, now, in the case of the NDX 100, it doesn't have the same reversal signals that we saw inside of the Russell uh, 2000. All we've got is a, a downdraft bar from uh, last uh, Thursday with volume to the uh, downside. And then Friday's bounce out here, this kind of helps us to understand that it is weak, whereas the S&P and the Dow were almost able to recoup most of their losses from Thursday, the NDX wasn't. So that's really the subtlety of taking a look at the NDX and trying to put that together. Let's go out to Sheridan, Wyoming, to uh, Ken. Ken, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? I'm great. How are you, yourself? Excellent. Thanks so much for calling. So uh, you want to look at S? Is it SNH, uh, Senior whole, uh, Housing Property? Uh, yes, looking for an entry point. Okay, and is this a, what's the time period that you plan on, is this a trade, is this a investment, is it an intermediate time frame, what's, what's your time frame that you're looking at I would at say on it this? would be an investment, intermediate time trade. Okay, SNH is the uh, ticker symbol. How long have you been a, a listener here at TFNN? I've been a listener for probably seven, eight years. Oh, and how how do you how, are you are you are you from Sheridan, Wyoming, or are you? Uh... Um, yes. In fact, I was traveling to Denver one time and caught Tom on the radio and cool. And been listening ever since. And um, I was a subscriber to your newsletter at one point in time. Oh, thanks. Hey, well, thanks so thanks, th- thanks thanks so much for doing that. So as we take a look here, I've got the uh, daily chart for SNH up on my uh, screen here. Now, have you identified where you think is a, a target area for you to enter? Well, I'm looking at um, 22, 2190 ish Okay. Yeah, so that, that 2192, which is the swing point low, and it's trying to trade into on the daily chart, uh, which takes you back to September 3rd, and you've got high volume there, and that low hasn't been tested. I would say that 2192 is a good spot. Can you hold on through the break here, Ken? Um, no, i got to get moving. Okay, all right. Well, uh, I'd, I'd take a look at that 2192 area as a spot. All righty? All right. Thank you, buddy. Hey, thanks so much for calling. You bet. 877-927-6648. We'll be right back, folks. Andy Hecht, the host of the Commodities Hour, recently launched his newsletter service, the Technomental Commodity Report, and only six weeks in, Andy has already recorded a triple-digit winner. Andy advised his subscribers to purchase a long-term call option at 46 cents on July 11th, and then sent out a special update Friday, August 16th, advising his subscribers to close that position at $1.40. That's a 204% profit in just five weeks. The Technomental Commodity Report by Andy Hecht is released each Thursday morning, and right now you can get a month-long free trial to this subscription while locking in the low introductory rate of only $39 a month. Andy Hecht has been a commodities trader for over three decades. Let his experience work for you. Sign up for your month-long free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report today at TFNN.com. 
with the launch of Tiger TV. TFNN has brought our programming to the next level. With Tiger TV, you can gain access to each host's charts and computer screens as they host their daily stock program. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, David White, Larry Pesavento, Andy Hecht, Victor Jones, or Daryl Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV for your viewing pleasure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com and see what you're missing. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investments, and whether you're bullish or bearish on U.S. Treasuries, the ETFs from Direction Shares are there to help you magnify your perspective. Bull ETFs for a rising market and bear ETFs for a falling market. Direction Shares gives you the tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investor Investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors, employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Wouldn't it be great if you could get a red light, green light indicator that gives you signals on 25 different futures contracts? Now you can with Taz Signal Box. This red light, green light market profile system dynamically updates 24 hours a day and provides you with important trend and trade signals on nine different commodities, nine different indices, and eight different currencies. Right now, you can receive a two-week free trial to Taz Signal Box. For all the details and to find out how the Signal Box works, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Steve, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Traditionally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, the market's really flat here. Buck Dow's up uh, two bucks. Uh, S and P is down one. Composite is down one. Uh, check quick check in on that Nasdaq uh, thirty minute uh, chart out here. We've got six minutes for the uh, ten thirty session to uh, to unfold here. So we saw we we were as we came on the air here. We we're watching a push down to uh, test the uh, top of that uh, uh, descending price channel. So far, we've seen price rejected. So that's our first test there and an indication of a uh, potential breakout. Where would it break out to? You know, that's a great question out here. Your next uh, retracement uh, level would be up to the 3380 level. That is your .786 retracement. Uh, that would be one spot that I would be taking a uh, look at here. Could form an A to B equals CD up as uh, well inside of the uh, NASDAQ futures. If it's going to do that, your A to B equals CD up pattern probably looks a little bit like this. That says all the way back up to the highs at around the 3398-ish uh, type of range out there. I probably didn't, yeah, I didn't grab the exact right B point, but close enough. Now, I'm going to go back, uh, even though Ken wasn't able to hold, he was taking a look at uh, ticker symbol SNH, Senior Housing Properties. They're a real estate investment uh, trust, but I want to go back. Hopefully Ken's listening in on the uh, air or the TFNN.MOBI. So let's go back and take a look at that. Where did I put that? Uh, here we go, SNA. So, Ken, if you are listening, because you mentioned that it was a uh, longer-term holding, more of an investment out here. And 
at what I've drawn up on the uh, weekly chart on my screen here. So I've identified a, a trend line and some uh, channel lines for us to take a look at. Now, these are a weekly chart, so, and you like to use weekly charts to get a longer-term view of what's going on. Uh, certainly, if you're taking a look at something from an investment standpoint, you'd want to be using, in my opinion, you'd want to be using the weekly charts to gauge your decision making off of. In this case here, we can see that price has broken through both the uptrend channel as well as the uh, uptrend line. The red line on the screen here is really what I'm using as my uh, trend line. I'm using the low out here from December of 2008. That was at uh, $9.82 with this equity was trading at. And then the uh, low of June 8th out here, June 4th was a big low, 2012. That is at 1983. That red trend line, you can see that price has broken through there. So it says, uh, says do not enter most certainly just yet. Now, what's also cool about this uh, pattern here on the uh, weekly chart is that uh, when it made a low back here on the trading session of September 6th, I believe that's where Candy is uh, taking a look at on the daily chart as a potential entry point. On the daily chart, it showed up as a, a daily high volume uh, swing point low out there. The weekly, it doesn't confirm uh, that. Uh, it just shows up as a really a normal volume from a, a weekly standpoint. Nonetheless, the low is 2192. Now, if you come from the swing point here on uh, June, the week of June 8th, which is an important swing point all the way up to the highs back down to the low, what you will see is that it actually formed a, a Gartley buy pattern. This was a .786 Gartley buy pattern. Now, it's a Gartley buy pattern that uh, worked. It didn't really have much in the way of confirmation, you know, no big bullish move off of the uh, weekly chart uh, when it uh, went ahead and, and made its move higher. And if we do take a look at the retracement, now, if we go from the high, which is on the uh, week of May 24th, 2013, down to the uh, low that was put in here on September 6th. You'll see it's done a little bit more than the .382 retracement during the week uh, trading session of October 25th. Not not all the way up to the 50%, but just above the .382 retracement. And it's possible, and it's actually making an A to B equals CD down. And what, what, what I would be paying attention to here more than anything is how price comes in to that .2192 level and the volume uh, there, 8.5 million uh, shares. If it's coming in with more than 8.5 million shares, what you have to be really cautious of is that when a Gartley pattern fails, well, look, if you trade a .618 Gartley, buy or sell, if it fails, your stop has to be in the .786 or below the .786 level. It just has to. If that's too wide of a stop for you, don't take the trade, uh, you know, you just because that's the level where things will fall to. Well, guess what happens? When a .786 Gartley fails, not only does it fall to the 100% level, in this case here, you'd be coming all the way back to the June 8th lows, which are down about 1983. My experience is more times than not, a .786 Gartley pattern that had worked and then fails turns into a butterfly. And a butterfly, folks, that's a, a big expansion of the downside. That's either 1.272 or 1.618. In this case here, that could be about $17.07 or so. So be careful out there, Ken, because this is broken. It's rising the price channel. It's broken its trend line, and it's going to come back, or it should come back and test those lows from September 6th. So the mere fact that you're taking a look at this more as a longer-term holding, let this thing prove itself uh, to you, and ideally it gets back it tests 2192, uh, does it on lighter volume, meaning less than 8.5 million shares, and then you see a sign of strength or you at least see a bullish engulfing uh, candle. I shared this during the uh, first hour out here. It's a, a tool that I have uh, put together for my uh, subscribers. This shows you on the daily chart out here that uh, we went from a buy zone to nice zones out here to caution, and we're now in the red zone. We're in the red zone. There is selling pressure inside of this equity. 877-927-6648. We'll be right back, folks. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock in option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. 
for all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. No matter where you listen to TFNN programming, we want you to know you can always access your favorite shows on demand through TFNN.com. TFNN airs live programming every market day from 9 a.m. till 6 p.m. Eastern, and you can view each program by accessing Tiger TV through our homepage. We even have an easy link for all mobile devices, including iPhones and iPads, located at the top right-hand corner of the TFNN homepage. You can use your smartphone to view Tiger TV, but if you don't have a mobile connection that can keep up with streaming live video, then you can simply visit TFNN.mobile in the browser of your smartphone for live streaming audio of all of our programs. The mission of TFNN is to educate our audience directly and interactively through our interactive website and radio call and talk shows. TFNN is able to teach all levels of investors the technical skills needed to trade in today's marketplace. In order to get the best information possible, TFNN has assembled the most respected financial minds in the country to provide the most current news and comprehensive advice available. TFNN.com. Educating investors. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. It's that time of year again, and our semi-annual Tiger Dollar Sale is back. For a limited time only, you can get a 25% bonus on any Tiger Dollar purchase, and included in your purchase, you'll gain access to an exclusive four-hour live trading event with Tom O'Brien on November 19th called Strategies for Trading ETFs, a live trading event. The only way to gain access to this exclusive four-hour workshop with Tom O'Brien, which includes live trading, is by purchasing Tiger Dollars as part of this promotion. Tiger Dollars can be used for any TFNN products and never expire, so now is a perfect time to get your 25% bonus. Don't delay. This will be our last Tiger Dollar promotion in 2013, so act today. For all the details and to get your 25% bonus on your Tiger Dollar purchase today while gaining access to Tom O'Brien's exclusive four-hour online workshop and live trading session specifically on ETFs, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Let's go uh, checking on some uh, currency pairs out here. Let's start off by taking a look at the Great British Pound. You know, we've been watching this uh, currency pair. This is the Great British Pound, U.S. dollar. The red line going across my screen up at the highs here, that is some uh, strong resistance. You can see that the uh, Great British Pound here, that strong resistance area being, you know, right around the uh, 162.7-ish type uh, level, 162.5 out here. We can see that the Great British Pound U.S. dollar currency pair have been traveling in a sideways consolidation ever since the trading session of September 16th, so nearly a full month out here of, uh, con oh, September 16th, I said October, we're already in November, so nearly two full months here. It's a daily chart that we're looking at of just simply traveling uh, sideways. Now, yesterday, if you were listening on the show yesterday, you know, we went down to the intraday chart because it looked like this low was going to be tested and we said, well, where is this likely going to trade down to? So we went and took a look at an intraday chart out here. Now, the chart that I'm going to put up on my screen here, this was drawn in yesterday. And yesterday, we took a look at the A to B equals CD that had formed or was forming, hadn't completed yet. And the A point on this, we were using the uh, swing point high from 2 o'clock in the afternoon. That was on November 7th out at about 161.13 uh, out here. Your B point was the swing that came in at about 11 in the morning on November 8th, down at about 159.56 out here. Your C point, shallow retracement, 
uh, nonetheless, a retracement until the 5 a.m. time frame on November the 11th, out at about a buck 60 and a little bit of a change out here. One to one, A to B equals CD. Brings us down to uh, gave us a price projection one point five eight six four. Take a look at what price did. Got down in that level. Did it? It was nice. What a what a nice little quick intraday trade out here because it made the A to B equal CD on the thirty minute chart here. Got into the extreme. You talk about the rubber band uh, stretching out here. It couldn't stretch any further. It just couldn't stretch any further. It had to snap back a little bit. That's what we've seen as a bit of a snap back. So on the daily, knowing that you were coming down into a area of support by the consolidation, an A to B equals CD, which uh, we said, we said yesterday, it's going to, the A to B equals CD pattern is going to be a little bit lower than the consolidation pattern. And then you saw, and, and with it getting down into the at extreme over uh, sold condition where it had to uh, snap. Now that snap here, if we take a look at it, nothing, uh, nothing marvelous about the uh, snap out here. A uh, little snapback. Uh, it's been there. It's made the point six one eight retracement here, uh, just simply of this of this very last leg down, the one from about eleven thirty last night to the uh, time frame when it made that uh, push lower at five a.m. Uh, this morning. So it's made the point six one eight retracement level. However, uh, what is important here on this thirty minute chart is that bar at ten o'clock. That uh, nice wide ranging bar has made the point six one eight retracement. What this says to me about the Great British Pound, is it's likely going to try to tag that point seven eight six area. Now, two downdrafting bars, no question, two wide-ranging bars that it's going into from uh, 4.30 and then the 5 o'clock session out here. So it does make sense for it to just kind of pause. But so long as price does not close below that 10 o'clock bar, uh, we'll use the uh, we'll use the body. We'll be more conservative. That's the open of one fifty nine. Uh, then this will likely move higher. May even make the hundred percent move of a move. May even start to consolidate all the way back up towards the uh, top in the uh, Great British Pound. Now the cool thing about the currency pair, about knowing that it's working off that extreme oversold condition, about knowing that it, so far it's only made the point six one eight retracement, is really not the trade that you would take now. It'd be the trade that if in fact it broke the consolidation pattern. So if it uh, if we start to see it move lower, it starts to form a new A to B equals CD down on the 30-minute chart. It says that this consolidation pattern will be broken through, and it suggests that price will not just move back to the point three eight two level, which is 157.07. That's coming off of the low on uh, July 10th up to the highs that were put in here on October-ish. Uh, October 1st or so out here, uh, says more likely it moved down, well, probably moved down into the swing point from August 29th right around the 154 level out there. So kind of cool to just see these patterns, you know, that's what, what what's nice about uh, Gartley's butterflies, AB equals CD patterns, channel lines, trend lines, they're leading indicator patterns for you to be draw on your charts to have them ahead of time, wait for things to uh, set up. Uh, you know, utilize the, I like to utilize these uh, overbought, oversold tools. It's just really very simple. And knowing that a market is just going to uh, stretch, that it's a rubber band, it's nothing more than stretching the bulls and the bears, and you get to these certain levels where it has no choice but to at least move sideways or snap back one way or the other. And when you've got two of the three outcomes being a, a stop of a movement going against you, that's when it's nice to be able to uh, uh, take a, a trade out there. So that's take a look at the Great British Pound, U.S. Uh, dollar. If we take a look at the uh, euro, let's go see what the Queen is doing. This is the weekly chart here, punching up on the screen. We know that the, that's up against a nice level of support. That's that rising uh, price channel. That's important because if that area breaks, that's the uh, blue line, the diagonal line that we're looking at on my screen. It's the weekly chart. Weekly has more meaning than a, a daily chart. And daily has more meaning, most certainly, than a 30-minute chart. But it's how you can stitch all of those together. The daily chart out here, as we take a look at the daily chart for the uh, euro, what is impressive so far today about it is it's up, a, it's up above old uh, resistance. That's that line that uh, goes across from the trading session from June 18th, the high out there, 134.14. So that a lot of time left in the uh, trading session when we take a look at the euro. If I go look at a 30-minute chart, let's go see if there's any patterns out here, anything that we drew on the uh, euro U.S. dollar. No, nothing that we drew out here, but we would be saying, ooh, what looks ominous about this chart? Well, how about this wide-ranging bar to the downside from 8.30 in the morning on November 7th? That must be courtesy of Mario Draghi. Now, if we take a look at price here, it has moved into a overbought uh, condition out here. It looks like if we take a look at A to B equals CD patterns inside of the uh, euro. So here's the opposite. The uh, the Great British Pound was a A to B equals CD down. 
This is an A to B equals CD up. The price projection on this A to B equals CD pattern says that, that we ought to see just a, a bit more of a, a move higher inside of the euro, maybe up to about the 134.7 level. Let's see if that actually sets up a little girtly sell pattern inside of, uh, I didn't grab the right uh, area. Let me try to draw this again for you here. Uh, let's get down. There we go, down to that swing point. So right about here. Let's see what that kind of expansion, what that does, does that give us. So, yeah, you're almost at about a 1.272 expansion. So the euro could, uh, it's going to work off this oversold uh, or overbought that condition here. It looks like maybe just by moving sideways and another little punch higher to about the 134.7 level. I would say 134.7 to the 1.272 is 134.867. And when it gets to that stage, it's probably where we begin to see the uh, euro-U.S. dollar currency pair begin its uh, reversal out here. On uh, the 30-minute charts, let's see, what else do I have out here? I've got the uh, Euro-Japanese yen. It's traveling in this very narrow banded uh, uh, uptrend uh, channel out here. I think the uh, markets themselves will not have conviction to the downside until we actually see this uh, uh, channel line broken here. Right now, it is up above, just slightly above the 0.618 retracement. That's coming off of the highs from uh, 2.30 or so in the afternoon on October 30th down to the lows that were put in at about 1 o'clock in the afternoon on November the 7th. So we can see this little, as it broke through this rising price channel here, that was actually uh, potentially bullish for the uh, markets out here. You know, our markets, they uh, now there's divergences that can, that, that certainly occur from time to time, but you want to keep your eye pegged to the uh, euro Japanese yen here right now, and a real breakdown in the market will be, or could be, should be, when we see an actual break of this rising uh, price channel here. Uh, we're in about that zone where this, uh, where we should begin to see it happen because we're up near that 0.618 retracement uh, level. And if that is the uh, pattern that unfolds, whether it's you know not during this hour of the show, maybe Basel's, maybe it's the options hour, maybe it's not till tomorrow, but you want to be paying attention to the euro. Uh, Japanese yen. Let's go check out some of the, well, let's see here. We haven't looked in at uh, gold, silver, light, sweet, crude. Let's go do that here for you. Uh, you've got uh, Goldilocks out here headed down into the uh, trend line. You're going to want to watch this. It's trading inside the swing point. That's October 15th. That had 110,000 contracts. Got inside there yesterday, 182, 182,000 contracts. That's a bit too much volume. That says the low is going to be tested. Now, in order for the low to be tested, 1251 Guess what? It has to break that little short-term trend line coming off of the uh, low that it made out here on June the uh, 30th out there. And that is uh, not very bullish. A push down, test it, and break back above the trend line, that would say, okay, maybe there's some legs here. But those legs, those legs, folks, are going to be stopped, well, potentially going to be stopped by that descending price channel line. That's the red diagonal line going across the top of my screen. Not until Goldilocks decides to break that is there really any potential... Uh, significant bullish action inside of the metal price truly being contained in that descending price channel for gold. If you take a look at uh, silver out here, uh, silver is, uh, let's take a look at its trend line. Looks like it has broken its trend line already. That's coming off of the low from June 28th. Now we're going to use this right, that's yeah, right up against it right now. So if I use the, if I use the widest trend out here, I would be using also the low from October 15th. That price level is 20. $20.49. You can see silver right up against it right now out here. Uh, Volume-wise, yesterday, 51,000 contracts coming against 28. Oof. Okay, so that's a bit too much volume. That says that the uh, low of 2049 should be tested. Uh, you got silver, high-ho silver, $21.13 right now. False breakout uh, is what we saw inside of the uh, silver uh, contract, continuous contract that we're looking at on my screen. Light Sweet Crude here, that's trading off uh, 22 cents, no big deal. Again, as we've identified here, Light Sweet Crude is doing nothing more right now than just working off a oversold condition by moving sideways. That is a bearish-looking uh, pattern here. Uh, I can uh, move sideways here for a while, but it looks like 91.31 and then eventually 85 bucks is what is in the uh, cards. Bonds here, uh, bonds right now, not seeing a lot in uh, bonds uh, and it's really more the weekly chart that uh, I think is the uh, thing of uh, beauty out here. Ideally, if you're looking for the next place to uh, really short bonds on maybe a longer-term basis, it's going to be a bounce up into the uh, top of this descending price channel that it is uh, traveling with. And natural gas here, let's look at the December 
uh, contract here right now. It's now right up against where it should run into uh, resistance. Uh, it's either going to be resistance or this is going to be a move off of the uh, lows out here. And that is the uh, little consolidation channel that it was traveling in the low of, which is right around the uh, hammer low from September 26, 362 uh ish or 363 or 363 right now so it's right inside that range where we'll see if this thing really has some legs in the side of it now let's go take a look at some of these equities here that are moving and uh, grooving Sarepta therapeutics let's go back and take a look at it let's see what kind of volume we've got inside of uh, Sarepta. i've got to hit the uh, that's snh that's not what we wanted so oh my goodness look at the volume they are piling out the door in Sarepta therapeutics today uh, volume off of uh, volume off of the close from yesterday, 16 million shares coming into the area where it broke out, and it broke out, we thought, with big volume. That was with seven, 27 million shares, but we've only been trading for an hour and 15 minutes. So that's 27 million shares on the breakout, and so far today, 16 million shares on the uh, breakdown. This uh, suggests that Sarepta is going to come all the way back to about $3.45. Then maybe, and only maybe, Will that, in fact, be a, a buyout there? But that's really coming back to the original breakout. Now, that would be a nice reward to a risk trade out there. Sarepta Therapeutics. If we take a look at a weekly chart on this equity, let's see. Oof, boy, does that look bad or what? And you can see how you're trading, you know, at that uh, breakout here right now. So clearly that is where Sarepta, you had a little hammer candle right here. That was back on August 23rd, so it broke that. You're long, you're wrong. This thing has got everything in the uh, making. Oof. Everything in the making to come all the way back down to uh, to that low, about 345. I was looking to see if this had some volume at the highs, and it really doesn't out here. Let me just update this chart here, make sure I've got the correct volume. And yeah, no volume at the highs on uh, Sarepta Therapeutics. Let's go take a look at Rackspace. That's trading uh, down here this morning. That's a, uh, down about 11%. RAX is the uh, ticker symbol. It's off 5 bucks and change. Oh, this is also gapping down with volume. Uh, this thing here, let's go see where it is headed to. Rackspace, taking out a swing point. Uh, the swing point is this uh, trading session from October the 9th. The low is 44.81. Volume there, 2.7 million shares. It's traded with 7 million shares here today. Uh, Rackspace ought to make its way all the way back down to the swing point lows. Rackspace headed down to June 6th. The area right around $33.91, maybe 35 52-ish or so. That's where Rackspace, let's put this on a, a weekly chart out here, see what the weekly chart uh, shows us. Weekly chart has this high volume bar out here. So Rackspace could, if it really breaks down, could make its way all the way back to about the October 1st, 2010 area. 24 bucks and a change out here. Some big volume off of the highs. That was on February 15th. This is one of those IBD stocks when they blow apart IBD stocks really blow apart out there. So Rackspace looks like it is uh, toast, French toast out there. Let's take a look here at some things moving to uh, the, uh, see, well, I'm just looking for anything percentage-wise. Let's take a look at whole logic. H-O-L-X is the uh, ticker symbol. They're having a tough day. They're down about 6% to the uh, downside. Let's go, so, oh, man, major volume in this equity as well. What is behind this move? Let's uh, let me get rid of that and let me see on whole logic what is there what are they uh downgrade alert and yeah, it's got to be more than just a downgrade alert um there we go so we got some revenues out here they did 600 million in the first quarter i don't see what that compares to their net income about 176 point i see what it compares to but i'll tell you what what doesn't compare is the volume off of this equity here whole logic's down with 21 million shares in the first hour talk about a, a downgrade when we get back we'll go take a look at where whole logic's h-o-l-x might trade you be right back patterns profits are you looking for a precision edge in the market? Something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's trading newsletter. Patterns, profits, and peace of mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, the dollar, the forex market, and more. 
you'll get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you the edge you've been looking for. Try patterns, profits, and peace of mind absolutely free for two full weeks. That's an $85 value. Yours free when you register right now. Get Larry's patterns, profits, and peace of mind. And get the edge you've been looking for. Have you subscribed to The Gold Report yet? On Wednesday, August 14th and Thursday, August 15th, Tom O'Brien advised his Gold Report subscribers to close out six of their nine open positions, all winning trades ranging from a 10.69% profit to an incredible 48% profit in just one equity. Tom O'Brien brings an incredible wealth of knowledge and experience to the gold market and the equities within the industry. That's almost 12 years since this powerful newsletter first began. And right now, you can get a 30-day free trial to the Gold Report by visiting TFNN.com. Make sure you're a subscriber as this volatile gold market makes its way back into positive territory after declining all the way from $1,900 to under $1,200 an ounce in only two years. Get your 30-day free trial today by visiting TFNN.com. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. What's the one thing that pulls people back from the breakthrough that they're moving towards? What's the only thing that really stops people from taking action? You and I both know the answer, and sure, we can come up with the reasons why we're not where we want to be, but the only reason that we don't do more with our life is fear. Or if you're an overachiever, call it stress. Simply put, there's something that happened to us in our past that's holding us back from the life we deserve, yet you and I are okay, we're here. So why should we let our past control our future? Exactly. We shouldn't. Hi. I'm Steve Rhodes with TFNN.com, and when it comes to your trading and investing, I can help you overcome your fear of loss. Together, we'll turn weakness into strength with a system I've developed called Mastering Probability. I'll teach you how to make your money work harder for you than you do for it. I'll teach you the tools that provide financial freedom. Go to the homepage of TFNN.com, click on my name, Steve Rhodes, and begin your journey of mastering probability risk-free. It's time to become a pioneer of your future versus a prisoner of your past. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow is down uh, 12 points. S&P is off uh, 2. And, uh, you know, stay tuned. Basil Chapman, he's going to be up next. Maybe he can uh, gin this market a little bit here and we can get some kind of movement other than, you know, up 25, down uh, 25, uh, just this uh, sideways action out here. Maybe he's got that secret formula. But, I, you know, I know who does have a secret formula. You do. That secret formula is helping everybody out in your life that you care about. Now, the easiest way to do that is to make an investment in yourself. Best investment that you could make for others, because you're a leader out there, and so you want to lead others. You want to show them that they need to make investments in themselves as well. But, you know, we're in the holiday season. We're going to get close to the holiday season out here. You know, you got, geez, Thanksgiving is, is you know, which was the one holiday, the one holiday that we had out there. That was, uh, okay, everything was going to shut down. You know, now that's not even shutting down. You got what, you know, Walmart out there opening up at uh, 6 o'clock. Everybody trying to open up, you know, earlier. Everybody's going to one-up everybody. Now, I think the smart thing that uh, that Walmart did, and, and maybe they can set a, a trend here. I'd like that. 
Uh, of course, the, the, many of these folks don't don't like it. Is I guess what anything they're gonna they're gonna have as their doorbuster sale thing. If you're in line for an hour, they guarantee folks will get it that way. People aren't getting killed trying to get through the doors. Just as uh, people are getting killed here this morning, and you know, uh, a whole a whole logic and Sarepta Therapeutics and you know a few other equities here that are truly falling apart uh, percentage wise to the downside of Medicis as well. But look, folks. What you want to do is folks are going to ask you, what can I get you for the holidays? Maybe it's birthday, what have you, right? They're going to ask you, and you're going to reply, nothing, I don't need anything, that kind of thing. But people don't box up nothing. They don't box up uh, thin air or what have you. Have them. Tell them now. Come to the homepage of TFN.com and buy some Tiger dollars for you. I mean, their money gets stretched. They get another 25% on it. It's something that you can use towards uh, any of the contributors here, any of our newsletter services, uh, you've got a great uh, charting uh, software, uh, the art of timing the trade uh, charts out there. I mean, so many great uses for that money so that you can invest in yourself. So it's early now. You can They can get that out of the way. Hey, what better time for them to get that out of the way so they, that money's off to the side. It's all set. It's all done. And, uh, you know, uh, and it's a gift that will keep on giving forever. So take advantage of the Tiger Dollar promotion. Look, it ends this Sunday. This coming Sunday, and that's it. It's gone, and so you need to uh, do, do yourself a favor. Do everybody in your life a favor. Take advantage of our uh, Tiger Dollar promotion out there. Right now, I, we were taking a look at uh, Whole Logics uh, before we went to uh, breakout here. I've got the weekly chart on my uh, screen. If this area here fails, well, it's going to be an important break of a uh, long-term rising uh, price channel that this equity has uh, been in. Now, not the best of looking charts out here. Nonetheless, it still had been in a rising price channel uh, coming off of the March 2009 area almost looks more like a financial stock and uh, this thing here is right up against an area of support if it breaks that level well if it breaks that level uh, it could be forming an A to B equals CD down depends what it does when it gets down to the low of about 1845 that's the swing point from July 12th 2013 so we're going to switch back here what is it that you should be looking for today one I would be paying attention to this uh, NASDAQ uh, futures contract. I would wait to see if this thing was a false breakout top side here, uh, and that is uh, just using the descending price channel. If it gets back inside the price channel, that will be a signal that uh, that was a false break. I'd be paying attention to on the ES Mini, and I was telling you because I'm paying attention to it, 1763.50. You'd like to see if you're bullish or bearish. If you're bullish, you want to see that at level hold. If you are bearish, you want to see that level fail. A close blow, 1762 and a quarter. You'll see a rundown to the 1747 level, maybe even to about 1741. So that's what I would be paying attention to, other than Mr. Basil Chapman, who will be up next. So it is Terrific Tuesday, folks. Have a terrific day. Thanks so much for being here. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Have a great day, folks. Ready to ride the next bull market wave? Catch the Chapman Wave. Using the Chapman Wave methodology, Basil's very comprehensive daily newsletter, The Opening Call, gives the short, intermediate, long-term analysis for the key indexes. In his Trader's Corner, he gives a brief market summary and expectation for the day with possible trades, both long and short, which are reviewed daily. A position subscribers sold recently for a 42% on part, plus a 64% on rest, at Hertz Global as a core position for six months before exiting the position. A current position, entered as a turnaround company with good technicals based on Basil's waveform, is trading up to 170% of its entry point as a portion sold earlier for a 21% gain. Subscribers to the opening call can see the Chapman Wave techniques demonstrated and explained daily to educate investors. To get your two-week free trial to the opening call, just visit the front page of T. FNN.com. Also, don't miss Hassel's program, The Tiger Technician's Hour, Monday through Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern on TFNN.